Hey, long time no see, eh? I'm back right now with another witch casket unboxing video because I know a lot of you like those. I know that I missed last month's unboxing. Um, I did receive the box and then I just decided to like open it on my own and um, I felt really guilty about not sharing it with you. So I was gonna open this one by myself. It's been sitting waiting for me um, for about a week now and uh, I think it's almost March. It'll be March when I'm posting this and I don't want to feel guilty. I want to show you what's inside. So this is February's witch casket box. I haven't looked at it. I haven't opened it. I haven't done anything. So here I'm sharing it with you and I hope you enjoy. As always, I never know what's actually in here beforehand. It's always a surprise. Um, I don't even know the theme. So it's a surprise for you and me both. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, I like this color theme going on here. So we've got the little write up written by Deb and Ella. It says, here it is, February's Witch Casket, and we hope you are all as happy with it as we are. We've had such a lot of fun creating this one. February's Witch Casket has the theme Reflect and Recharge. We feel it's important to always take the time to reflect on all that is good, find closure on things which haven't gone so well, and recharge ourselves so we are ready to move forward with a new understanding and appreciation for ourselves. We all must learn to love ourselves and treat our spirits to a relaxing recharge now and then. Yeah, how perfect. Definitely, <laughs> especially this time of year. That seems just about right. Until next time, be well, Deb and Ella. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for recharge. <laughs> I'm so ready to relax and recharge. And closure. Yeah. Moving right along. Oh my word. Who is this beauty? Oh. There's always amazing art in these boxes. I don't know. Um, I'm going to figure out who this is by, but take a look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh man. So uh, there's something in me that's just like, I'm just like having this like physical response to it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just feel like empowered by this picture. This print is called Aurora and it's by Fimsy Whimsy. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know where she's gonna go, but I want her like up on here or something. I don't know. We'll find somewhere for her. Next up, another amazing, amazing print from Tea Cake Art. This is the Hermit. Oh yeah, looking after yourself, taking care of your body and your mental health and spirit and <sighs> that's gorgeous. That is, it's got like little pussy willows. I don't actually know what they're called. What are these things called? I think, I don't know, they're little like willow thingies and there's some different like cedar and pine branches. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ah, I see some tea. <laughs> There's always tea in here. We've got wellness tea. Green tea, lemongrass, tangerine pieces, rosemary and sage leaves and natural organic flavors. Yes, yes. We've had um, somewhat springish weather here in Wiltshire, surprising, um, but it's got us all ready for like, freshness and springtime and sunshine and feeling better and betterness and wellness tea I think is going to be ideal for the next sunny day that we get. I'm going to enjoy that. Ooh, okay. Another little packet of red clover flowers. What's that for? Many uses such as sprinkling around your home or using as a floor wash to remove negative spirits and bad vibes. Hey, that's pretty cool. What do they look like? Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ooh. hello. When did the hair cutting happen? Um, Wednesday. I'm filming the video, Mom. Not flat. 
I'm filming a video of unboxing my 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 casket, my witch casket stuff. And look what's already on the top are these prints here. Aren't they lovely? Oh gosh. See, it's very interesting. I don't know if these are gorgeous things, whatever they say, you know. Is it? Shine. And this magic kind of rainbow y thingy happens. Yep. Is this what you're op you're opening up? Yeah, I'm what opening it up and sharing it on on here. Oh, I see. Or it will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to the flowers. So we've got little red clover flowers, just all squashed, dry, dry flowers. Ooh. Not totally sure what I'll use that for. Sprinkling around your home. Ooh. Go for a little sprinkle, a little springtime sprinkle. I don't know. Okay, what next? There's always so much in here. There's more than I'm, I'm expecting. Okay, we got a nice little pouch thing here. Casket crew. Very nice. Which casket? What's in here? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, we got a little flower life type thing. Crystal. Oh, it's a crystal grid. There's something else in here as well. Ah, little crystals. Ooh, that looks like rose quartz and amethyst, maybe? Maybe. Looks like it. How very nice. This is so neat. I've actually never used a crystal grid before, um, but this is just so beautiful. Like, ooh. I think I will. I think I might give it a go next time. <laughs> and look how nice it's come in a little, in this lovely, pouch. You know something I'm noticing is oh, there's like barely any plastic in here. Um, these guys are in a little plastic baggie, that's fine, but other than that there's like no plastic in here, so good on you witch casket. I recognize that. Also going without the plastic, we've got a little aluminum or something canister here that has ritual candles in it with a great big cork on top. This is so cool! What are they? Are they gonna be like tea light candles or...? Ooh. Ooh, they smell nice. Mm, I wonder what they are. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> what? There's so many. They They're like vanilla? E sort of? Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, they smell lovely. Ritual candles. This is perfect. I need some tea lights. So ooh, ooh, perfect for like setting up my sort of relaxation space. One, two, three, four, five. Five ritual candles. How lovely. And then we have some hollow packaging. Yes. Uh, for any holosexuals over there, this is indeed hollow. Hollow. Uh, essential oil burner. Essential oils contain the magical energies of plants and are great for ceremonies, rituals, and meditation. Release their magic by adding a few drops to an oil burner with a little water and allowing their energy to fill your magical space. Oh, of course, so like a glass. Let's, let's figure this out. A glass dish. Ah, hey, look. Ta -da. Oh, that's cool. That's so pretty. And then of course you put one of your ritual candles down in here and then, ooh. I just wish I had some essential oil to put in there. Mm, I don't know. I've got, I think I, ha I have some oils. Some oils are okay for burning and some are certainly not. So, oh, hey! <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> We've got some 100% pure essential oil here. We've got lavender, lavender essential oil. Perfect. I'm all set. <laughs> There's more. There's always more. This month's stone, gemstone, is opalite. It's in its little package, as it always is, in a nice little, nice little pouch. Oh my gosh, I don't think this is going to be able to do it justice. How freaking cool this is. You can't, you can't really see on the camera, it's not really picking up, but it kind of is. That is so cool. Oh wait, can you see behind? That's so pretty. 
<gasps> this is going to be good for like stone gazing, basically. <laughs> Just like staring into it and oh, sort of drifting off. Anyway, opalite is a powerful stone believed to increase self-esteem and improve self-worth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who needs that? Hmm, let's talk to my therapist about this. It's a great aid to emotional change and because of its calming qualities, a perfect aid to meditation. At the same time, relaxing and energizing, it can also help you to overcome exhaustion and fatigue. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Oh man, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. That's such a Coming to the end, we've always got a parchment. So something's going to be in here. I don't know which one this is. And of course, I'm going to open them up. <laughs> I'm going to know, going to see what's written on it as I was instructed to do last time. What have we got here? Meditating for manifestation. <gasps> Helpful. Meditation is a peaceful practice that not only spans centuries, but also spans cultures, religions, and spiritual paths. So some written help. Full. <laughs> helpful guides for meditation. Man, meditation can actually be so simple, but so difficult at the same time. Um, I think because it's so simple, a lot of people have trouble with it, and I sure do. So this is going to be really help, really good to read. Ooh, and a nice holographic. Yes, it's holographic. Crystal Magic Diamond Sticker. Oh, that's so pretty. And last, but most certainly not least, we have our Witch Casket Exclusive by Curiology. Ooh. Pin. <laughs> it's a moon and crystal, a crescent moon and crystal pin. That's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just feel all like light and airy fairy and like mm. <laughs> fairy and magical and and freer. Well, I am thoroughly impressed and very, very pleased with this past month's witch casket box. Um, I'm so excited to start using some of the things and implement them and just, you know, get back into my habits you know sort of bring things back in just feel a bit more magical again because sometimes we lose it and sometimes we uh need a little bit more of that in our lives and I certainly do right now so once again thank you so much Witch Casket for putting together such an amazing box of goodies feels really really great to be back and talking to you all again I'm going to wrap it up quick because I'm going to go grab a cup of tea. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Take excellent care of yourselves. Stay groovy and I will see you in the next one. And one last thing, please, please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see um, down in the comments because there's 500 of you now and I mean, I, I, I don't know what you want to see. You all want to see different stuff. So let me know. Uh, leave me questions that I might be able to answer in my next video. And um, that's going to be it. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.